The world's biggest night, the Academy Awards, is only a few hours away. Entertainment reporter Samantha Dawson joins us live now. Sam, Australia's only Oscar nominee this year is Margot Robbie. She's up for Best Supporting Actress. I've got to say, I saw the film. She was fine. I can't see it. Not going to win. Did, oh, did you like Charlize rate. Theron? She, I thought she was phenomenal. I, I thought she was much. I thought she was much better. I just thought Margot Robbie was fine. Not, I, you know, didn't let the team down or anything. But uh, yeah, I don't Look, know. Just yeah, being honest, I was, I was impressed. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Margot Robbie, so I'm backing her today. And as we mentioned, as you just said, she's our only. Uh, nominee flying the flag for Australia, so I hope she does well. But look, to be honest with you, Tom, she faces some tough competition. She's up against Laura Dern, who has taken home every other award she's been nominated for this year. Uh, so I think she might win. She's also the bookies' favourite at the moment. Uh, a, a movie that will win big today, I think, will be Joker. It's nominated for 11 awards. A phenomenal uh, movie. It's done so well at the box office. It's up against eight other. Uh, movies for Best Picture. That does include 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Parasite, who took out the SAG Award for Best Picture, Little Women, Jojo Rabbit, The Irishman, Ford vs Ferrari and also Marriage Story. Uh, we are going to see a, a, a lot of performances across this afternoon's ceremony. It kicks off, as you mentioned, in about an hour and a half. So Elton John will take to the stage and also Billie Eilish. The red carpet is now underway. So we're starting to see all the glitz and glamour roll in in Los Angeles. I think uh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix will take out the Best Actor Award for his role in Joker this afternoon. Renee Zellweger is the hot favourite to win for her portrayal of Judy Garland in the movie Judy. She was phenomenal. I asked her about that earlier, uh, last year, actually, late last year, about winning the Oscar today, and she was very humble about it and didn't give too much away, but I think she'll manage to take it out. I've got to say, I'm pretty excited about 1917. I saw that over the Christmas holidays with my brother, and I just thought it was edge of your seat stuff. I think that's my pick. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm still trying to convince. I think next time we go, I'm allowed to go and see it because we've seen a couple before then. <laughs> the one and I haven't I seen is no Jojo Rabbit, movies. and I would love to see it. But I think 1917, if it doesn't take out best film, uh, it will certainly take out cinematography this afternoon, that's for sure. Absolutely. Have you seen Joker, Annalise? No, and I haven't seen Jojo Rabbit either. So I'm assuming you've seen Joker, Sam. I found it quite disconcerting because you're really sympathetic with the character. The That's Joker, what I thought. Uh, initially, yeah. like you really, you go, oh, the poor bloke, and then he starts brutally killing people, and you think, oh, okay, maybe He not. got triggered, you know? <laughs> but don't you think Joaquin Phoenix is just so believable in that film? You can see why he's won every other award this, uh, this season, and, and he is, he's the bookie's favourite at the moment. He certainly, yeah. um, I think he deserves to win. Look, Brad Pitt, I will uh, throw out a mention to him as well. It's his first Oscar nomination, and he could take home the Best Supporting wow. Actor for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So fingers crossed there, because his acceptance speeches uh, have been quite hilarious over the past few awards. Yeah, yeah. see, that's crazy. He's, I mean, Fight Club couldn't even get there. All right, I think Another one I haven't seen yet. <laughs> Sam, thank you. Uh, we'll keep updated and you'll get across the red carpet for us, so uh, chat soon.